OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Chris Belache. And I, well, thank you very much for joining uh, my session today on Teach, Engage, and Humanize Your Class with YouTube Shorts. Um, my name is Chris Belache, and these are my, uh, my emails. I work both at these places, Miracosta College and San Diego College of Continuing Ed. So um, Mariana handed out some worksheets, or not worksheets, but just handouts. handouts. Yes. So you will you will have everything that I will show you here in the handout. So you don't need to take notes or anything. You have everything that I will show you here. There. It's just a little more concise in the um, handout. But let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. So. Before we begin, does anybody know um, YouTube Shorts? YouTube Shorts? I yes. know of, but not how to create them. That's why I'm here. Yes, <laughs> excellent. I've seen some shorts on YouTube. On YouTube. So yeah. you have an idea what? It's a short. Yes, like the name says, they are very short videos, like the equivalents of a TikTok, but, uh, you know, minus the... Um, TikTok. The issues that we have, <laughs> security and all the things behind TikTok these days. So yes, that's going to be our presentation today, talking about and um, you know short videos and how you can create um, some for your class. Um, they're very easy videos, and we'll dive into that in a minute. But before we get into um, our YouTube shorts, again, we're going to do the same thing. And I think everybody knows each other here, or no? Do we know each other? Not, Not everyone. Should we do this individually? So what I want you to to uh, to do is just take a few minutes and say, you know, introduce yourself, your name, you know, um, the place you work and the class you teach, and um, then we'll go to the next um, uh, questions here. Have you ever watched YouTube Shorts? And I think Susan has reels. Has anybody? Heard of the word reels? I've seen it on Facebook. So it's the, it. the uh, competition. Well, we have TikTok, we have YouTube Shorts, and Reels for Instagram. Oh, so different companies. Too. Yes, Facebook. So they, they own um, Instagram now. So same concept, short, catchy videos. So that's the question for you. Have you ever watched Shorts, Reels, or TikToks videos? If so, can you describe? So what was striking from those videos? They were fast, they had music. So what else can you tell um, about these videos? Um, and what was the video about if you, if you watch? What is pre usually the content that you, um, that you check from these videos? Is it recipes? Is it um, educational content? Is it just a crazy person doing something? So. Anyways, let's begin with introduce yourself. So let's do it individually. We're going to start with Mariana here. Mariana, tell Man, us. Man, I'm on the spot now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell us, Mariana. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Mariana Silva. I teach with Chris uh, at uh, Miracosta College. I almost said San Diego Continuing Ed because I was there for one year. And my colleague Cindy is here, too, from San Diego Continuing Ed. Well, previous, previous job, job, right? Yeah. Um, I have seen YouTube shorts. Um, I think it's the music, the fact that they're concise, that uh, and the fun stuff, right? It's usually yeah. something fun, engaging, and you learn something quick from them. Um, I can think of what kind of. I think just the funny, silly Dancing stuff that I've seen. And, mm -hmm. uh, more my kids draw me into that, <laughs> right? Uh, TikTok. I don't do TikTok, right? And, Maybe neither. Yeah, just, maybe none of us should anymore, right? Uh, there is a lot <laughs> of things. Yeah, um, that's it. Yeah, thank you very much, Mariana. I don't know who else. Susan. Okay. Hi, I'm Susan, and I don't work. Well, no, I'm retired. <laughs> I do you work. Do work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think 
I have seen reels on Facebook where they do recipes really quick. Yes, and I like those. And it's like super speedy recipe, and you watch it, and they put the ingredients in. <laughs> <laughs> and then TikTok, I don't do it. And then uh, shorts, I think I, I was looking, because I teach ESL, I want to look for shorts because they're short. And I yes. think I've searched them, and I, sometimes they tell a story. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. There okay. is a lot of content that you can create, and there is also created out there that we can use for our uh, students, like the short attention span that's perfect. You know, if you have a very quick recap lesson or something, there is already, like I said, there's a, a, already a lot of content on, on shorts, but it would be, you know, even better if we create our own so we yeah, personalize so and humanize our uh, practices even more. Thank you very much, Susan and Cindy. Hi, I'm Cindy Waslowski, and uh, I'm a former ESL teacher with the San Diego Community College District in the Adult Ed Division. Now I work part part time for OT, and um, I would say, as far as watching those. A no, no, a no, unless I have by accident. I have seen on Facebook the ones where they're showing how to make a hairstyle. Oh, that's what I did too. Yeah, yeah. One of them, I can't remember. It's kind of Makeup. fascinating. But I have to watch it 10 times to get it. <laughs> anyway, I'm very good to be here. Awesome, Cindy. Thank you. And then you have Hi, I'm Adriana Adriana. And I am also retired. This is like the row of retired, semi retired <laughs> adult educators. We never, in that row. We, never, <laughs> we never go away, though. Well, beware. Okay, so I'm working currently part time with CCAE, the California Council for Adult Education. And um, so I don't have students, I don't have a classroom anymore. Oh, and I was. I worked in the Sweetwater District, so I was oh, administrator okay. here at Children's wow. Adult for a time. Uh, but with regard, oh sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, with regard to uh, YouTube Shorts and Reels, I don't have an Instagram account. Uh, CCAE does, but I don't manage it. Uh, TikTok, we don't do TikTok, but I have seen the the um, rescue ones. Yeah, the Facebook one, the recipe one, the hairdo one. Yeah. My my laptop is set up to repeat those, so it just goes on repeat. Oh. So I'm good. Oh, so I, I see it ten times and then I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and then sure, so yeah. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. I want to learn more. Thank you, thank okay. you, Adriana. Nice meeting you. Yes. yes. And then again, what's your name? Uh, thank you. <clears throat> so my name is Maria. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm a CTE teacher at Highlands Community Charter School. We're in uh, Sacramento. Um, and I have actually never, I've never watched YouTube shorts. Um, I rarely use YouTube. I don't use TikTok, but I have seen reels <clears throat> definitely on Instagram. Uh, I watch mostly recipes and I watch a lot of culture content, you know, yes. like when they say, um, <clears throat> you know, they like reenact moments of when you're young, <laughs> you know, when your yeah. parents do this and then when you're. When your parents turn into grandparents, they're nice. All of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to, uh, that's a lot that comes up on on my feed. Um, so yeah, nice meeting you, Maria. Yeah. Yes. And then you sort of what's your Hi. Um, yeah, my name is Jerry Mashda. Um, I work for World Education. Uh, former teacher, so I don't have a classroom anymore, but uh, I do a lot of professional development stuff like that now. Um, I'm not super familiar with YouTube for they show up when I'm on YouTube and I've never I don't watch them but um, I do use Instagram a lot so I always see those come up on you know the reels um, all the time. Um, I like uh, some of the history ones yeah. like um, and like uh, social science like they'll have like condensed things or like um, news. In politics, I'll follow some of those. So right. yeah, I like I like to you know I mean I guess we all have that short attention span now. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Give me the meat of the coconut right here. Like, you know, That's exactly let's right. Move on. <laughs> so. awesome. awesome. Thank you. And I'm Angelica, and I am at Monterey Adult School, Monterey Bay, not Monterey Park in Los Angeles. So I'm up north to our Ooh. south of San Francisco, and our south of San Jose, Santa Cruz. That Monterey, not the LA. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people, oh, Monterey Park. I'm... No, no. Um, I teach beginning ESL and computer classes. Um, I do watch the shorts, the reels, everything you've mentioned. In addition, our district puts out regular 
shorts and reels like we have one with the superintendent doing the silly dance oh, wow. uh, trying to encourage people to attend like the advisory meetings and things like that or the board meeting um and they did one with our principal unbeknownst to her it was all over social media she's like oh no <laughs> she had no idea um, and they're encouraging me because i do the social media for the school and the school website they want me to do more of these i have no idea what i'm doing um i my my husband has two nieces that are YouTube influencers. They have a channel, Cis Castillo. And so they travel all over Mexico and the United States and they do these little videos. And so there's one of them dancing on the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, there's one where they visit us in Monterey, watch the wharf, and they're eating clam chowder for the first time. But yeah, they do these wow. shorts and reels and have thousands of viewers. And, wow. uh, oh, so they're, they're famous. With they're famous. famous. Kids, yeah. <laughs> they have a certain audience, though. Do <laughs> they make money? I yes. believe so, because that's yes. how they can afford to keep traveling. <laughs> yeah, just a little disclaimer. This this workshop is. Not, I'm not gonna teach you how to make money with this, but you know, I wanna I wanna show you how you can you know uh, create content for your class. Um, that would be a good idea to to show you like how do we monetize all of this TikTok and these videos. But that's gonna be another session in the future. Anyways, well, thank you very much for introducing yourselves and tell us a little bit about your experience with. Uh, YouTube Shorts, Reels, or TikTok. Basically, these three uh, things are similar in the way that they are short, right? Short, condensed uh, videos with music and filters and all sorts of stuff um, that are really catchy for, for everybody. Um, so at the end of the session, at the end of this, you know, um, presentation, um, what I want is for everybody, for all of you to be able to answer what are YouTube shorts, you know, how you create YouTube shorts and what videos can you make for your class? So three things um, at the end of the lesson. So let's begin with the definition, you know, YouTube shorts are short videos, that's it. <laughs> they are 60 seconds or less. You can um, upload more seconds. I mean, it's just 60 or less. They're typically catchy, right? Um, they have background music, animated text and filter, and a lot of other things. They are also called the TikTok version of YouTube. So if you know what a TikTok is, if you've seen it, if you heard about it, it's, you know, the equivalent um, of, of that. So um, what else? So viewers can dislike, comment, and subscribe. So if you create a YouTube Shorts, uh, your students will be able to like, dislike, comment, and subscribe to your channel. So if you wanna create in the future a small YouTube channel where you can um, store all your YouTube shorts and you can recycle them for your classes, that's um, a great way to go. So this QR code has um, a better explanation. Well, it's got more information about YouTube shorts. It's six minutes and eight seconds. So you, you have that in your um, handouts. You can check that at home, but it's a very um, concise explanation what YouTube Shorts are. Um, again, just remember YouTube Shorts are just short videos, six second max, and vertical orientation. So you'll see them like this, like when you're scrolling um, up or down, so the, the, the layout is gonna always gonna be vertical. You can also upload content in horizontal. It'll, it will allow you to also use videos in horizontal um, orientation, but typically this is the best format for this type of um, videos, vertical. So, any questions about YouTube Shorts? I think that's pretty clear. <laughs> Here is an example. I created this for my class at the beginning of the year. This was one of my welcome videos for onboarding my students. Um, just a little, you know, introduction. You know, we often talk about the humanizing component that is so essential for our students to get that, uh, you know, connection with students before the classes begin. So I created this short. So you can watch it and I can, I don't know if I can play it from here, maybe. I don't know if that's gonna send me. Maybe not, maybe not, one second. No, let me go back over here. Yes, so I will show you this in a little bit, but as you can see, vertical, right? And um, as I said, if you create YouTube Shorts, your students will be able to like, dislike, comment, or share. 
You can also remix, you know, other videos with your videos. Um, and, you know, it's pretty user friendly. So let me see, let me go to the next slide. So we are going to attempt and creating a YouTube short today. And I don't know how you feel about that, if you're ready, <laughs> but I would like you to create something today, if possible. If you do wanna try that, um, what you'll need is a cell phone. And I think all of you have a cell phone. We have internet, I think. Yes, we do have internet. And then you will need a YouTube app. You is won't be able to. Is it just a regular make. YouTube app? Just a regular YouTube okay. app. There is no YouTube Shorts app. It's just everything stored in one place. So if you have the YouTube app, you're good. If you don't, if you have an iPhone, you can scan this QR code and it will take you to the app store so you can download it for free. If you have an Android phone, of course, you will go to that QR code and you will be able to download YouTube for free. Of course, we're gonna have to need a little bit of patience. If you get a little lost, remember this is technology and we all have to kind of breathe a little deeper when it comes to technology sometimes. And of course, imagination. So if you have all of these and if you're ready, we're gonna begin everybody. So how do you make YouTube shorts? So the first thing you need to do is once you download the YouTube app, right? This one over here, this is my phone. You're gonna open it, right? You're gonna open that app and you will see um, this widgets, how do we call this thing? Widgets or symbols, icons. So you're gonna click on that plus button, right? Right here. And you are going to create a short from scratch, from scratch. And what else? What we're gonna do next is select, keep current selection. Mine doesn't say that. It doesn't say that? Mine says uh, create a short, allow access. Have yeah, to you have access. to allow, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. then? Then keep current selection. Keep current selection. It doesn't say that? Like I click yeah. the short. And you are there. Some of yours will yeah, okay. mine can do that short. Excellent. Some of you okay, so then um some of you will see this popping up from your phones, but some so I think if you are there. We're ready to record. Yeah. So now we can make a video. See how simple it is? Let's say you are at the beach and you want to connect with your students and you're, hey, how was your weekend? Or whatever, you know? You can, hey. Students, I have been graded. I've been busy. I love it. Actually, I messaged them on Pronto. I said, if I'm late, the great thing is because wait for me until they stop talking. How about if we make a welcome just for the test, just for this? session we can make a welcome uh video hi my name is yes let me <laughs> let me show you <laughs> I need a model. yeah let me show you mine that's a, and i'm sorry i just one second everybody let me show you my example i think don't you want to go to your youtube channel or no yeah i think i, I have it on my right? youtube channel but i i thought i don't I you have it. it on there, Chris? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the YouTube channel, everybody. Yeah, so right there, right? we won't look at your channels or something. Don't look at my history. <laughs> okay, let's see. Close your eyes, everybody. Oh, he's recording. Are you recording? <laughs> he's <Okay>. recording. <laughs> One second, everybody. Where, where, uh, where is my channel now? Did you see my? No, I think I. One second, I don't think that's... Yeah, if you go to your blue feed... Yeah, I think oh, yeah. it was from... Because I was signed yeah, out as my oh, personal okay. account. Oh, so, okay. let me show you then my example. Again, this was the first, the first short that I created for my class. And that was a welcome video. Oops, let's do some coding oh, right now. Just <laughs> because we're going to do coding. <laughs> No coding today. So let me show you then my short. This is my YouTube short. And it's a welcome video. Wow, look at this. For those students, happy new year. 
My name is Chris Belache, and I will be your English level one teacher. Uh, our classes will begin on Monday, January 23rd at the Community Learning Center in Oceanside. Our classroom number is 216. I am very happy to um, work with you and help you with your English. See you very soon. Bye. You can also add, um, I add a little bit of something there. But anyway, so I forgot to mention, I most of my experience is for ESL, beginner ESL. So this video is, of course, very basic. It's just a little uh, short introduction. But it took me uh, less than five minutes to, to create. I mean, of course, you have to prepare what you're going to say. And I think that's when it takes more time. To, to think what you're going to say in that video and then add the rest. So um, very, very short. So what do you think? Um, any questions about the video? Any, any? Um... Shall we go there and like it? <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel too. <laughs> so let me go back again <laughs> over here. So let's go back to, um, let's see, where do I? Oh, so did oh, you use you the camera on your phone? To do yes, that? you did. The the beauty of this app, you just need your phone. Right. It is you don't need computer, you don't need a an, an you know an app to put music or it's everything within YouTube. Mm -hmm. So you film yourself. Mm -hmm. And then after you film yourself, you remember six um, seconds max, then you can do the fun part, which is adding text or adding the music. Um, so yes, everything using my phone. I didn't use the computer to create the video I showed you. So very, very simple. So that's what we try. I want you guys to try to do today. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, you open the YouTube app, you click plus, create short. Maybe you have that box, maybe you don't. And let's let's go to the next one. Now what? You have to record your video by hitting the red button. And again, this is a test. You can just say, uh, hi, hello, I am Mariana. I am at the TDLS 2023. Stop. Right. So what we want to to uh, practice is adding, you know, the details to your video. OK, so how about if you want to take a few seconds and do just like a six, six second video, whatever you want, just introduce yourself. Yeah, of course. Yeah, for a nice background. So everybody, oh, just do a little. Uh, but it's not towards me. I think it's recording. You see, but it's not towards me. I did You will need them Monday through Thursday this week. Okay. When I get on my class, can you go this way and match on screen? Hi, students. Welcome to um, the yeah. Is it okay to go on the screen? Yeah. Really happy to have a great Third hill is much better. <laughs> Back to press record. So whatever works. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That was, that was, um, then, yes. <laughs> Let me put that one. So Once you finish, you're going to. Okay, I'm your teacher. Oh, it's going. I want to go. You're going to. Um, now you're gonna do decoration there you have this fun part over here you're gonna add music Everybody, 
it's just you know, I'm just I'm just I'm just hit the check button. Hit the check button. How do I stop mine? So I. And I just want to say hello. That's it. Hi, my name is Susan, and I'm going to be your teacher. I'm so tired of hearing you. You can just say, Hi, my name is Susan. Oh. And how do you, I'm going to just you say, writing. You can't stop. Now I want you to add music, but I think Hi, it won't stop. <laughs> See? Next? No, I think we need to go back and. Oh, how about a teacher? How about. And I just want to say hello. I'll just do it again. Hi, my name is Susan. Yes, because you need to you need to first uh, add if you are gonna add music or text oh or uh, so you can't go back and edit now. I think I clicked too far. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's you are ready to up. You know, you're ready to. Did you add music or not? no? No, no, no. I go back. <laughs> okay. Um, Unless you want to save it as a draft, and then. Okay, so now I have my video, I'm not hitting that button. And then? Yes, that sounds good. Okay. Now, if you want you want you guys already finished your video, the fun part begins. You have to add music, text. Very nice. What music is? I think we're having a lot of fun today, everybody. That's unholy. You're going to add music. Add music by clicking on that musical symbol. Text. Text. Um, the filters, right here, right here, background. So everybody, I think I, I we're listening to music. <laughs> you can add uh, filters if you click on this little thing over here, the little sparkling. One second. Oh. Now, this is too loud. Dio. Oh now, I think I forgot to mention the volume of your music. Wow. <laughs> Did you try to do loud, Chris? Oh. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Can you reduce the sound of the music? Yes, you can reduce it when you go to uh, volume, the little um, speaker over here. Oh, look how cute she is. <laughs> and then you, you click. your influencer friends there. <laughs> okay, so just original sound. Okay, I'm not so, there yet. I think I'm on the filter still. So I'm afraid to hit the check button. Let's see. Okay. I don't like these filters at all. So if you like the voice, I think the reason is not stopping is because to make sure that your music is not too loud. So if I like that, sure, we can. It's because we have sound here and the music, but if you do this at home, it'll sound better because of the sound here. Yeah.
And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, everybody. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just <laughs> did you guys do your your? Are you guys exploring the features of your? Yeah, you didn't tell us to do the retouch. To look younger. The retouch, the music. Make sure you click on the speaker to adjust the volume of the music. You want your students to hear your voice, not so much the music, but... Um, if you want to just modify that. Yeah. Uh, you just go to sleep. I see you in the background. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That's okay. You're fine. This is practice anyway. And again, again <laughs> remember, it's going to be um, once you explore and create something that is not perfect, again, you're going to have the last part when you're ready to upload. You can make that video private. You can make it private, you're not going to put it out there. Yes, correct. So again, don't worry. Again, the music, make sure you adjust the volume. Otherwise, your students are going to just listen to Miley Cyrus instead of your voice. I think the volume should be on the, there is a, a little, um, like a little bar, and there is a speaker. Oh, you see the speaker? You're gonna click on that speaker, and then. I don't see it. So here's the music. I haven't put it in yet. Because if yeah. I put it in, mm -hmm. then you just put it. Yep. And then we're. Mm -hmm. And then click. And then. Don't hit that one because. But I think you already. No, no, no. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go to voiceover. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Oh, my goodness. This is not. No, they're not going to drag this. This is just a. Oh. I think I, where is your volume? Because is, this is the volume from your cell phone player. Oh. oh. This is my volume. Huh? That would be a good thing, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know why I said that. That's okay. Um, we can show you how to change the music. Now we know, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. one. Yeah. Where is the, the YouTube again? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Add a little. It'd be nice if you could drag it down. There, right or it'll come right up now. There. There. Okay. I can always go back. Hmm. Like you can't fix it once it's done. Hmm. No, it's. Oh, you drag that down there. Hmm. This phone, it won't allow you to voice over. The best thing to do is when you have a video music that doesn't have voice over otherwise right but it only had what it had but see it says here just drag to adjust sound but the sound of the music that will be on your video yeah I want to but not the hmm. what the shouldn't it go down it says drag to adjust sound mm -mm. oh okay Oh, it's just to drag, so I can drag it like this, mm -hmm. and, and just have a little bit of music. Yeah. Let's see, but it's doesn't. You don't have too much time. Hers had a volume. There we go. Oh, there it is. You know what? Just oh, for fun, let's let's upload that one. Why uh, are you
There is some problems with putting uh, the vo well adjusting the volume. Does anybody have the problem with adjusting the volume? Yeah. I heard no, a lot of really music. Yeah. yeah. So but yes, but her option was that she had a speaker. There. And what kind of phone do you have? It's an oh, iPhone. Yes, it's an I iPhone. Won't I, won't think, won't. I think it's an Android problem. Maybe here. You have an iPhone? Not, yeah, I yeah. have an iPhone. I bet it's an Android problem. Okay. Yeah. Who has an Android? Me, I okay. I didn't that down, so yeah. I started putting what I wrote on there. <laughs> <laughs> or what I said. Yeah. yeah. So it's an Android problem. Now, um, Adriana, right? Yes. Adriana, did. And what about the music? Did you get the music? Just, I, the thing is, I can't play the volume on the original volume on the thing. So let's see. I record it. Yeah, that's the only show. It was the music. Yes, awesome. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. The um, speaker, did you like the other one? So, what, what do you mean? Like, oh, you can't change it. No, no, this is, you guys want the voice, right? The background sound, right? It's interesting, it says drag, but which one do we drag? The synth is, yeah, yeah, like the, the segment of the music you want. Oh, yeah, absolutely. To use. Yeah. Um, no, do you think it's awesome. awesome. It should come up, but it looks like <laughs> iPhones have the speaker, but for some reason, Samsung's do not have that, which I'm just... Um, for, okay, let's see. Maybe, let's see, adjust. Nine. I didn't mm. press it because I, I didn't press at the same time with you. Yeah. You recorded more. <coughs> it's just a really kind of saved here or yeah. not. I think it's an end. So she already recorded that piece. Mm -hmm. There's the song. What if we remove it? Maybe pick a different one. Or maybe. Oh. Now, you guys, your voice was very. Maybe no, you're, no, 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 no,
Like, it doesn't yeah, give yeah, you the option yeah, to yeah, adjust yeah, your voice yeah, and your voice. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry. I, I didn't oh, think that was gonna be, be an sorry. issue. Exploration of learning. I yeah. know. So all right. So Androids do not have um, the yes to uh, well the icon the volume icon that where you can adjust <laughs> your voice and the background music. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing. Yeah. But I yeah. did not anticipate that. Maybe the three of us have Androids. Maybe that could be uh, still uploaded, you know, and maybe then on the computer you can adjust, right? Yeah. Once you upload it's it. Unless, unless you speak mind. very loud and you pick uh, uh, no, no, pick no, no, music, no. background music, like the music that I picked, there was just like, control I mean, nobody was singing. So yeah, maybe like a it. best practice when you're making YouTube shorts is to pick music that uh, is just um what is that instrumental, instrumental music uh, something yeah. that is is not gonna have like more voices there especially if you have an android uh which yeah if you have an iphone you should be able to see an icon in the um the speaker volume and you will be able to adjust your voice and the background music so Try to do this, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Dang it, I'm sorry. Were you able to adjust the volume or you have an Yeah, it brings up both Yeah, it brings, yeah. I'm Android version. Sorry, Android users, but... um. So if you guys are, are able to... um. Can you guys share whatever you have in on Padlet? Whatever you have, if you have your video. I think it's gonna show I want you to share your video with me by scanning the QR code. I'm sorry, Susan. Get another no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> And again, Susan, you like you can make it a cone. There's no noise. You can uh, speak nice there, and then pick, like I said, an instrumental type music. I forgot to go back and change it from quiet. So if I put it, you can um, you can um, uh, hmm, you can close. I don't think it's gonna delete anything. Okay, so over yeah, here, yeah, yeah, so you yeah. are you are ready. So yeah. um, did you upload? I know, this and yes, the whole idea would be so to have it on you the remember go, if you right? click, because uh, I can thing. see how that introductory yeah. video could be. Hi students, so I'm gonna hide now. The only you know, thing just kind of about this is that you, when you want to change the settings um, in a computer, you can you go oh, okay. and then change the settings mm -hmm. to yeah, on my side. <laughs> <you can search. laughs> that's the only thing. So when you're doing Maybe the steps, making a video before you upload it, make sure that it says unlisted, unlisted. You know, so that way it's only for for your students. But um, again, share over here. You copy the link yeah, and then you go. That's the yeah. I couldn't say it. I'm sorry, everybody. We're getting a little bit of uh, error and uh, what is that? Trial and error. Yes. So I yes. So if you're able to share your your YouTube shorts, that would be nice to see some of your. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I, Susan, is not is not sharing, but that's okay. That's okay. So I'll, I'll watch other people share. That's all right. And and remember, um, this would be a great idea if you have a bunch of like YouTube shorts and share those in a Padlet. You know, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Padlet. Padlet is a um, how do you define Padlet as just a like classroom. It. Board. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you can easily paste your link, and when you paste the link, um, it'll look like this on a cell phone. They need to verify mm -hmm. that I'm on a cell phone. Yeah, this can also be a great um, activity for students. Like, assuming your students are tech savvy and they have a YouTube channel, <laughs> they can easily upload videos. Mm -hmm. 
but we need to first get a lot more practice on our end <laughs> before we attempt to teach that to students. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna happen to like it's happening to be like, oh my goodness, I didn't even realize um, Androids didn't have that option to adjust your um, music and voice. Anyway, so what? Oh my goodness, I think we have uh, just a few more. A few more. Um, you still have fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes? No, I think. Yes, well, the session is okay. ten. Excellent. So again, please play with it. I mean, we have. Uh, we were trying uh, to create YouTube shorts right now. Of course, it's noisy. But at home, tomorrow, whenever, just make a video. Hi, my name is blah blah blah, and um, try to follow the steps. Again, remember the steps you have it in the handouts. Um, what I'm going to show you now is once you create um, your YouTube shorts, you can easily share them in your Canvas, in your LMS, whether it's Canvas or uh, Google Classrooms, you know, just share the link and you'll see from your YouTube shorts, there is a symbol like an arrow like that, that link can be um, in your um, Canvas, you can just easily paste that. This is a, a video of my Canvas um, course. Uh, from a phone, so I have here my home, well, this is the important information here, so I have here my YouTube Shorts, so it looks just nice in a vertical way, so students can just click there and, um, you know, learn a little bit about me, but anyway, so that's how you would be able to, to share that in Canvas as a nice little um, welcome to your class. Now, Pronto, how many of you know what Pronto is? Pronto is, yeah, what is <laughs> It is a built-in texting tool within Canvas. Oh, really? Yes. Um, I don't think we have that on my Canvas. Yes, it is the equivalent of uh, what? What is the other uh, like company? A, WhatsApp. Are you familiar with WhatsApp? WhatsApp? Yeah, really. It should be the blue think about WhatsApp. Think about Pronto. Like, you. Gonna... Yeah. Yeah. So. But it's from Afghanistan, so I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they have it. <laughs> so anyway, so Pronto is just that. Um, it's a built-in um, tool within Canvas, and you can text students. You can have video. Uh, calls or video phone calls and share a lot of things, including your YouTube shorts. So I did share mine using Pronto, a little bit of text and my link. That was it. So Canvas and Pronto, excellent ways to share your uh, YouTube shorts. Now another way that I, um, another um, space where I share my YouTube shorts are emails. You can use a hyperlink and, and you know, just uh, use your, well, type whatever you need, well, the video, right? So for example, here I have click to read my, uh, or watch my video, click to watch my video, and I link that to my YouTube short. So then when students open their emails, they can click here and they'll be able to um, watch my YouTube short. Now, the only problem is that once the students open their emails, this link will take them to a different um, site. So that's the only thing about emails, but there is no way we can embed a YouTube Shorts yet into an email. Mm -hmm. It's just a hyperlink, just like that. So a great, um, also a, a good way to um, get students um, connected to you through video. This is a good activity that I, I, I did with my class. I use my YouTube short. I add the QR code here. Students use their, I print out this and then students with their cell phone um, scan it and they can answer some of these questions in regards to the video. So it's a, just again, an activity that you can do either on Zoom or in person. Print out the handouts, have students scan the QR code, and answer some um, comprehension questions about either myself or any content that you want them to uh, learn. So, any questions before we continue? I'm going to show you some examples, yeah. but um, any, any questions, anything over here? Again, very simple to share on... Um, 
Documents, Word, Microsoft Word, or Google Docs. Now, how do you get a QR code for your, uh, for your YouTube short? Do you guys know that? So, for example, I show you here, this is a Google Doc. So if I want to make a language activity and I want to use my YouTube short, I will have to um, either put a link, but if the student is in person and you know you have a piece of paper, I think a smart way would be having a QR code of your YouTube short and then have some questions here. It's less than a minute video. They can watch it with their phones and they can answer some questions. Now, how do you make, how do you, um, create a QR code from your shorts. Does anybody know? Very simple instructions. You will go to, now this is for laptops. You will not be able to get the QR code using your, your cell phones. So you will have to open your laptop, go to youtube.com, log into your account, right? Because you have an account now because you were making videos now. And look for the video you want to share and click on this symbol up at the um, top right you will see an arrow it's almost like a um, like a little arrow getting out of the box which is to share right you share you you know through a qr code and then download the qr code and paste it to your document so that's how i got um this okay so again let me go back again QR codes for your document, youtube.com, log into your account, look for your video, and once you are on your YouTube shorts, you will click on this arrow and uh, get the QR code. Any questions about this one or not? Again, you have it on your handout, so you can kind of digest that later, tomorrow, next week. <laughs> um, Anyways, another uh, great way to uh, use your YouTube shorts is if you paste them in um, your PowerPoint presentations or your Google Slides. Um, I have some examples of what I have been doing with my class um, and my YouTube shorts. So one moment, I'm gonna go to the YouTube channel here and I'm gonna show you a second. Um, yeah, I think right here, maybe. Yes, yeah, so let me see. I think I have again. Please don't judge. Yeah, that's true, right? right? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> One second here, everybody. Maybe with the iPad it would work. Oh, maybe, maybe with your iPad. Yeah. It's an iPad, yeah. yeah. So these are some of my YouTube shorts here. I, you know, this one is like <laughs> the rain, you know. <laughs> Again, I teach a beginning ESL class. So I can, and it's a short, so it has to be something a little engaging. <laughs> and so you can hear the music in the background. How'd you make those over here? Huh? Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's raining. It's all language based short videos that could engage students and you can post this on you know pronto canvas discussions and you can get your students um, talking about you and the video, right? <laughs> um, what else? One second. Where do I go now? Um, let me go back again to well, I'm just gonna go back like this. Okay, so that was one. That was one video. You saw my welcome video here. I also have this one. This one is not good. I was just trying, but I was modeling that like, reading out loud, and it was a paragraph. So let's see. Let me show you this. <coughs> my classmate. There's no music. That was just a little example. Anyways. So this was just a short, so I was having, um, I wanted uh, students to practice reading out loud, you know, after they finish their paragraph about their classmates. So having them to read out loud, what is reading out loud mean? So then I showed them, oh, remember this paragraph that we um, worked on? 
for this amount of weeks so we're going to read them now what is reading out loud i'm going to show her this video again i'm modeling what you want students to to do in your class um let me go back again let's see over here that was one reading out loud the weather one second here this one was on a weekend and <laughs> i think my husband cooked some <laughs> what i am having tofu tofu broccoli and sesame seed on top for dinner so imagine all the things that you, you can talk about your dinner? students the colors mm. the the vegetables and then having them engage in conversations like hey what are you having for dinner um so yes this was again another um way for me to engage with my students and pronto which is like the WhatsApp uh, version of Canva. Uh, let me show you one more. And again, you will have the QR code of all my examples in the work on the handout. So you don't need to, hey, where can I find? You will have everything. Everything is in the handout. So you'll see all my examples there. Let me show you one more over here. And then we'll go into, um, uh, one second here. Oh, this one. This is the one that I did using my, um, I was. So this is the language that is the native language in my town. So Tatiwenel is in Mayan for I am sleeping. <laughs> and then of course I have the Spanish, Mayan and English. That was for a different class. So I think you, you, you can learn many languages when you show this little. This little um, gif. Talking when it is. <laughs> anyway, so that is, and you, as you notice, there is no music. You're it's just. <laughs> what was that? You're contagious. I'm yawning now too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this is again just some examples there. Let me go back again to my main thing here. And I think we almost have a few things before, oh, wait a second. One moment, everyone, let's see. So yes, you will have access to all my examples and let's move on to the next thing before we, we, uh, we have to go. So this is again, the video samples that I was showing you before. I have a few more, you'll have access for later. And um, more ideas for you um, when you're creating YouTube shorts, Again, welcomes are excellent. Um, maybe five facts about me, five facts about a lesson or something. Recap a, a grammar lesson, perhaps. You can make a little drawing or something and even film something from your uh, notebook. Um, what else? Short dialogues, you can also make that. Likes and dislikes, maybe um, when you're making your video, if you, you are in the kitchen, what are five things that you like? or five things that you don't like. Uh, a short story, a short story, um, or a, even pronunciation. There is a way that you can um, focus on, on the mouth when you are on YouTube shorts, so the camera is only looking, is only um, focused on, on the mouth. So you can perhaps, you know, create a list of, you know, a little challenging sounds like the TH sounds in, um, in a lot of English words. So I don't have more than that, but I, I, I put other ideas in the handout. Um, the, thing about, uh, the thing about these YouTube Shorts is um, they're friendly, uh, user-friendly. Again, you have to be in a quiet room and, and plan what you're going to make and um, just you know time 60, 60 seconds or less and um, share it. Share anywhere, pronto. Canvas, um, emails, PowerPoint, many, many um, uh, platforms. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think I am, I am done with all of this. You have all, you have all the instructions, everybody. Thank you very much.